Hi, it's Will from StormyCastle.com and this is a diorama making tutorial and specifically on how to make a medieval building like you can see here. And in the case of this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a peasant's house. It's kind of pretty good. A little peasant's house. So I love that, um, you know, just that plaster and wood framing look. You know, it's typical medieval kind of thing. Of course, uh, I'm going to be making a bunch of buildings in the same similar style, like a, a tavern and a tower, a clock tower, you know, round towers and square towers, and to give you a sense of that, because this is part of an upcoming di diorama that I'm going to be doing of a medieval village. I'm going to finish the wall diorama first, and then I'll be starting on this new project of a medieval village, and it's a pretty, pretty big village. It's, it should come out really, really nice. I'm really excited to be doing this. But anyway, with just a few basic materials, I'll show you how to make a nice little building like this. You're going to need uh, some foam board or cardboard. Foam board's better. A little bit of uh, balsa wood. You could even use popsicle sticks. That's for the door and the framing. And a little bit of foam if you can for this part down here. It's optional. You don't have to use it, but I used some foam that I bought. It looks really nice. I like that. And for the, the roof here, this is actually uh, pieces of towel that I cut. One inch strips of towel and I laid those in one at a time to give the roof. And this is just regular foam. So aside from that, a little bit of paint, some sealant, and uh, oh, and some grout. I use this as optional, you don't have to use grout. But I like the way grout makes this surface because that's what it is in the real buildings. It's like a grout. So you grout this out. So let's uh, launch into the tutorial. Okay, first start out with a paper template. Make your building the size and shape you want it out of paper or cardstock. Separate it and transfer that pattern to your foam board or cardboard by, you know, drawing around it. And then cut out, cut out the pieces and glue them all together. I use hot glue gun. You can use any kind of glue you want, but a hot glue gun works really well. Next, now you see I have a piece of foam under there, a foam for the chimney and a piece of foam under the building. That's brickwork. A square of foam. So use non-sanded grout if you can. Cellular clay works well too. Mix it up and we're going to paint that right on. Now grout can get hot so you have to be careful with this. If you're going to mix up just a little bit you should be fine. But don't get it on your skin because it can get hot. And uh, read, the, read the warning labels that comes with it. Uh, grout is a little bit of a tricky thing. So you paint up the whole building. Now let's add the wooden details. Once that grout dries Add all your wooden pieces here. Uh, hot glue gun doesn't work too well with the grout, so just glue the pieces on. It's better. You know, typical medieval home patterns. So some horizontals, some verticals, the Y shapes, stuff like that. Yeah, I like those Y shapes. That's pretty typical stuff. Now let's paint all that woodwork. Um, I didn't say it, but but cut yourself a little door too and put that in there. Cut away any holes that are needed, like the hole for the window, the hole for the door. I didn't say that, but that should do that. Now let's paint the woodwork brown. And this is just for now a rough painting, because we're gonna. You know, we'll do more do more detail work later. You know, we'll touch it all up. But get all your rough work done. Brown of all the woodwork. So you know, I'm painting the building, and I use an antique white here, which is a little too yellow. Uh, I, I, you, you could keep it. Antique white is kind of nice, but I ended up lighting lighting up a lightening up a lot of it. So paint your stonework. Here's the base. Paint the base. And I'm going to show you a little trick when it comes to painting stonework. 
I paint the chimney. Now I painted all gray, all the stone with gray. Now you dabble on black. See like this? I'm dabbling on the black and then dabble on some more gray and you'll end up with some nice stonework. But you lay down your, your basic gray first, you dabble on black and then you put some more gray like this. See it? So it ends up looking like stone. So now let's do the roof. I just cut three quarter inch strips of uh, towel. Towel with a nice long nap on it. Looks better. Looks like thatch work. And then you glue it on in strips that overlap starting at the bottom. Like this. You'll do both sides of the roof and work your way up to the top. So you, so you cut another strip and you glue it down overlapping that previous uh, strip of towel about halfway. And it looks good. Cut it a little long and then trim it on the edges like the front and the back of the house. And you continue to do that until the whole roof is done. Just like that. Now I'll um, seal that roof with some kind of a sealer. This is just a sealer I picked up in, a, in an arts and crafts store. A clear sealer. And the direction that you paint it in makes a difference because you want the nap to look like thatching going down like that. So seal the whole roof. And I use an X-Acto knife here to really bring out the texture of the thatching like this and just this orientation. You can separate the layers because it's layered roof and it won't, you want it to look layered. Separate the layers, get it all nice and thatched. And that roof is done. So do your detail painting work now. Now go back, touch up the, the white of the walls, the brown of the wood. And at this point I had added my little flower pot with flowers under the window. I'm going to do all your detail work and bring out the details. Touch up any mistakes. And that's it. It's done. Spray it with some kind of a sealer. And it's ready to go. This is part of a, 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 a this is this is the first part of a series of tutorials on making a medieval village with all kinds of, I'm gonna have all kinds of fun stuff in the village. And uh there's your completed peasant's house, a happy peasant's house. So you can tell by the little flower pot outside the window. Lots more diorama stuff, all kinds of tutorials, fun projects on my website at stormthecastle.com.